Hey guys, Henry here from Product Creation Formula. In this video, we're going to be talking about how to turn a PLR ebook into a video course to make money online. But before we go ahead and do that, I just want to let you know, here at Product Creation Formula, we love to give you tips and tricks to be able to help you create your products quickly and easily. Along with that, we also do product reviews, as well as tips on how to make money online. So if that's the sort of thing that interests you, how about you smash that like button as well as subscribe and hit the bell icon so you can be notified whenever we upload more videos. Hey, and remember to stick around to the end because we have a dad joke. All right, guys, let's go check out the content. Okay, so how do we go about turning a PLR ebook into a video course? Well, let's go check it out. This is the one I'm looking at here, YouTube advertising. And one of the things you're going to need to do is do a little bit of formatting before we begin. First thing you're going to need to do is to make sure that as you go through, you get all the headings and be sure that the headings are in fact highlighted and turned into heading one. You want to be able to make sure that they're heading one because that is what you're going to be needing to do. Primarily because this is going to be how you go about making sure that you can turn this into a video. So I will go into more detail about this in a little bit of time. Just, just bear with me. So what I'm going to do in this particular case is I'm going to debold that. I'm going to copy that. Bolden that back up again. Take this down to the next line and just go there. There we are. Completes the sentence then. Now another thing we want to do is get all the subheadings like this one here. And we want to make that one heading 2. So as you can see underneath just here, you can see it says heading 2. So we click on that. And what we're going to do is we're going to go through and we're going to find all the subheadings and all the headings. And we're going to put all the subheadings at heading 2. And we're going to be having, having all of the main headings as heading 1. So as I go through, I'm going to just go through and I'm just going to turn all of the headings into the right one. So this one here is heading 1 as it's the main heading and anything that's a subheading will then be turned into heading 2. So I'm just going to go along here. Now another thing you might want to do is go in here and to see if you can add some subheadings. If you find a paragraph that has no subheadings like this one, YouTube also announced the ability to... So you can go through have a bit of a read and you can add your own subheadings to fill this out. Now I would highly recommend you do that primarily because it will help with the next section of the video. So I'm going to pause the video while I go ahead and continue doing this. Now to answer the burning question I know you're asking, which is why are you getting us to do this? Well, the reason why I'm getting you to make sure that you have these as heading one and then heading two, your subtitles have to be setting head, heading two, is because this is going to make it really easy to be able to turn into a PowerPoint. Allow me to demonstrate. You see this icon at the very top up here? It says send to Microsoft Office PowerPoint or Microsoft PowerPoint. What we need to do, if you don't already have that on your Microsoft Office, it's a really simple matter of being able to get that. And let me show you how to do that. You go over here, you click on this one just here, the quick the customize quick access toolbar. Click on that and you scroll down to the very bottom, the third one down from the bottom, which says more commands and you click on that one. And then over here where it says popular commands, you click on that and then you go here to all commands. And then you wait for this slide bar to shrink down. And once it shrinks down, we can then go and find the one we're looking for. Now these are in alphabetical order, so all you need to do is scroll down until you get to S. And once you get to S, you slow down and then you look for Send to Microsoft Office PowerPoint. I think I've gone past it. I haven't. Okay, so you go to Send to Microsoft PowerPoint. So we go until we find, here it is. There we go. Send to Microsoft PowerPoint right there. Then you hit Add and then you hit OK. But because I already have it, I don't need to do that. So what you need to do is once you have done all of this, this is definitely the most important point 
that you can do right now. And that is you can now just hit this and this will then put this straight into a Microsoft Office PowerPoint. Make sure that it's formatted properly because if you don't, you'll end up with mistakes. And I'll probably have a few mistakes, but allow me to show you how to quickly fix them. We'll have a quick look and see what happens. Okay, now there does appear to be a number of slides that are completely unnecessary. Now to get rid of those, all we have to do is go over here to the left. Then we have to left click on that. And then we just hold down the control key and we highlight and copy over the top. Now I release my finger off the control key. And as I scroll down, I then click on these until I find where I want to get to. And then when I get to the ones I want, here we go, all of these, and I'm wanting to delete these. Okay, for some reason it's playing up. I'll have a quick look at what's going on here. Not sure why it's doing that. There we are. And you're still thinking about what it's doing. Okay, now that's as far as I want to go. I don't really want to go any further. Now all we really have to do is hit, whoops, yeah, okay, that's fine. We've gone as far as we want to go. Now all we want to do from this point is hit the delete key. And there we have it. So now what we have is we have our blank screen, but then we have here. As you can see, I've got this area here highlighted, and this all goes into the introduction one. And over here in the next one, this is this is actually chapter two. Well, this is the introduction, that's chapter one, I should say. This one here is chapter two. And we can you can fix this up because there's there we are. Now it's now fitting inside quite nicely. And you can scroll down to the next one. Now, of course, you probably want to fix this up in such a way that it's really easy to read and so forth. Now, obviously, there are different things you can do. Now, I would personally suggest that you break this up into smaller sections of maybe three or four points per slide. This will expand how long your slides are. But as you can see, you're not having to copy and paste, go backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards. The whole point of this is getting it all done in one page and then sending it to PowerPoint. Now at this particular point, all you want to do is just do a little bit of formatting. You see how this one here, I would probably leave that one alone. I would then expand that up to perhaps a larger font so as it fits better and looks more like a PowerPoint slide. I'd probably even remove those dot points and then I'd muck around with anim animation. But right now, this one's perfectly fine. As you can see, there's only three points. We'll remove those dot points and we'll make that large. We'll make that about 40. And you just continue going through. Now, in this particular case, I would duplicate this slide. Now, duplicate the slide and you might be wondering why I would do that. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I might even duplicate that another time. So we can do that. All right, so now what we're going to be doing is in the first one, we're only keeping the first three. And we delete the rest of those. In the next slide down, we get rid of the first three. And we get rid of everything else under here from notes downwards. And then from here, we get everything above the notes and we delete that and we keep this. Now you can choose to basically just keep that the way it is or you can move it on and you can just break it up even more. I personally would think maybe delete duplicating this one more time might be a good option. And then I would go here, down the bottom. Okay, so at the top one, I would then get this one and I would delete these ones. And in the one underneath it, I will then delete the top three. There we have, now we have three per slide. You don't want to have more than three per slide. Two or even one is better. But if you really must, then try to keep it at 
as no more than three per slide if you can and if you are going to do it then there are tricks in which you can hide the content as you're going through so as it doesn't distract so now what I would do in this particular case is there are one two three four five six seven eight nine ten lines here so I'd probably duplicate that twice and here of course we go back here keep the first three and delete the rest and we just do the same thing for the next one over here we delete the first three and the last three or four yeah we delete the got one two three and we want to delete probably all of these and this one where does this go set clear objectives everything above set clear objectives including clear objectives we delete and the rest of this is kept so that is how you do it and you just go through and you continue doing that all the way through then what you do is you can then record this or if you want to fix it up you can then add some animation to it but the animation side of things on this type of thing is a completely different video and I can easily show you how to do that I can even show you how to do a dim effect in fact I'll leave a card above because I have done a video on how to do dim effects and I'll also leave a card above because I have also done how to do PowerPoint animation so now before we go any further what you need to do is remembering that each one of these is in fact a chapter so that is a new chapter and as you're going through that would be potentially an entire video all on its own so these three slides these ones here this one this one here this one here and this one here are essentially one particular module or one video in your arsenal so what you would do in this particular case I would highly recommend that you would get your ebook and highlight where you want to change the slides and once you've done that then it's just a matter of making sure that what I normally do is I put like a little highlighter there somewhere say change slide here and as I'm reading through I see that and then I hit the downward button as I'm recording I have two monitors which makes it really easy otherwise what you can do is you can print up the ebook and then it just makes it easier when you have it highlighted as change slide here it's a really simple fact that if you do that it makes it really easy to be able to keep track of what you're doing while you are making sure that you are going through and reading out the article so as you're reading through make sure you change the words from article or anything that refers back to the guide what you have to do is make sure that you in fact change that to the word video okay so it is now joke time the barber says to the client your hair's turning gray sir the customer who's irritated by the long delay says I'm not surprised hurry up will you <laughs> All right, guys, if you like this video, please consider smashing the like button as well as subscribing and hitting the bell icon so you can be notified whenever we upload more videos. Hey, while you're at it, why not consider sharing and also leave a comment down below and let me know what you think of this video. All right, guys, thanks for watching and bye for now. Now, over here is a video I believe you might actually like. And down here is a video that YouTube is going to recommend for you. Now also, over here where the round circle of my head is, you, that is a button that you can click to be able to subscribe.